Hey guys, so in this video we'll be talking about how to do the basic tasks of Pricebook. This includes basically uh, adding new items uh, in C-Store Pro and pushing them to your register, updating prices or departments, uh, etc. Doing massive updates, bulk updates for let's say a category or a price group, uh, and then also running promotions as well. So in order to do this, obviously you have to have communication established to your uh, point of sale system. So be sure to watch the video prior to this one. Uh, on getting that set up before you move forward. So the first thing we'll, walk, we'll talk about is how to add items uh, in your point of sale system. So if you go to price book, items, you'll be able to see basically all the items that are currently in your system. Now, when you do this, the initial load obviously only loads the top 50. If you wanna search for all of them, you can just do search and it'll find all the items in your store. Um, and it'll tell you how many total items you have in your price book right now. If you don't have any items at all, you'll just see a screen that says there's no items right now. You want to add a new item, so you're going to have to click on that add button to add the new item. So now to add an item to your store, you simply click on this little plus icon here on the right. And if you have a 2D barcode scanner, you can enter in the barcode, uh, scan the barcode, or if you, you don't want to manually enter it in, you just manually enter it in. Now, regardless of if it's a short code or a long code, UPCA or UPCE, you always want to enter in everything that you see. So that includes the leading number as well as the last number at the end. Uh, and then you do a find, right? So now you, when you do a find, the system will tell you that, hey, this item doesn't exist in your store. But you notice that C-Store Pro actually picked up the description automatically. All you have to do is assign the department, the tax type, and the price you want to sell it for. If you have multiple stores, you can see what the prices are at your other stores. You can also assign it to a price group, or if you don't see the group on here, you can add a new group. Uh, size group, you can make it food stampable or non-food stampable. You can apply age restriction to it, as well as assign a primary vendor, enter in the cost, etc., for this item. And then if you want to add more items, if you click over here, and you say add item, it'll basically prompt the screen again where you can just continuously scan and add the item. If you keep this unchecked and you do just add item, it'll go ahead and just add this item to your database. So we just wanna do add item. So once you've added that item, it basically, you know, basically the screen disappears. So now to send that item over, you just wanna go to price book, send to POS and send those changes over. Um, if you have modifiers, let's say you have a one pack you know individual base item uh, and then you have a two-pack deal or a six-pack deal and you want to add modifiers you can click over here where it says modifier list and you'll see all the modifiers that are in your store if you want to add a new modifier you can do it from this plus icon and again just scan the barcode and enter in the modifier now when you try to do an item that doesn't exist the system will tell you that hey you need to create a base item for this first so be sure to create the base item before you do the modifiers um, there's also another way to do these modifiers. So when you're on the item list, if you find a particular item that you want to do a modifier for, when you scroll over to the right, you have this little plus icon where you can apply a modifier, where you can enter in the modifier count, enter in the size group, you know, all this stuff, the price group and all that stuff you can apply here as well and just add it into your database. And then again, once again, just send it to the register when you're done. If you wanna do bulk updates, let's say you have a bunch of cigarettes that are changing in your store. You can always click on price book and there's an option to do bulk update. So when you're doing bulk updates, you can find items by price groups or all these search criteria. So for example, let's say I wanna find all the items in my store that have the word Marlboro. So I'll just do M-A-R-L and search. And I'll find all the Marlboros in my store. Now let's say I wanna increase my prices by 10 cents for every single Marlboro brand in my store. I can just come in here and say plus 0.10 drop it down and then it'll increase the prices by 10 cents similarly i can decrease the prices as well and let's say that i want to price change all my 525 dollar and 12 cent marbles and change the prices for them you can just come in here and type in marlboro and you can say you know what i want to find all the marlboro prices that are basically 5.12 search so find all the 512s you can come in here now and you can basically say i want to change it to 599 drop it down and then send it to the register now or save it and send it later if you send it to the register now, it will basically push the items right to your register. If you want to save it and review it for later and then send it, you can always do save and send later. And then in that case, you want to go to price book, send to POS and send it from there. You can update any basically information that's on here uh, to get this updated. 
Now, one of the cool tricks that I like to tell customers is, you know, if you're doing a marble, let's say your name is misspelled. If that's the case, then obviously the items are not going to show up on this list. So one of the cool things is Marlboro has a special, a special unique identifier. The first five digits actually belong to Marlboro. So when you enter in the first five digits here uh, and you just remove the name, the system will find all the items that are 519 that are in this first five digits. And you can obviously add a uh, department category here as well if you wanted to. And you can just say, I want to find all my cigarettes, right? And you do a search. So now the system will find all the items that have this beginning scan code that are in the cigarette that are 519 and then you can just update the prices here. So it's pretty much that simple. Uh, there's no rocket science required for this part of it. Now let's talk about the promotions. When you have deals running that are going to be set to expire at a given time. For those promotions you want to just go to price book and promotions. Now you have all these promotions running. If you want to add a new promotion, you just click on this little plus icon here to add a promotion. You give it a name. Let's say I give it just test. How much this promotion is going to sell for? So whether it's two for three dollars or five for seven dollars, anything like that, you want to just enter in the value here. That's going to be for seven dollars. If it's a mix and match or a combo. Then you give it, you can either create a new list or if you have an existing list on file, you can just open up that list, right? And all the items will show up. Uh, if you want to create a new list, I can just come in here and I can say I want to just start a new list and uh, let's say for example I just go back and I say I want to create a new list. I can obviously uh, enter in a new name here. I can remove all from this list. I can enter in a new name, test. Again I can just do the scan code. Let's say I want to run it for my marbles and I want to find all by 519s or 512 it was. I do a search, it'll find me all of the 512 marbles and I can just add all of them to my database. And then I click next. Over here I'll specify when I want to start this promotion so you can schedule it for next month and when I want to end this promotion so you can end it at the end of next month or however long you want to keep it. If it's a never ending promotion uh, such as just a deal you can obviously just change the year to like 2027 or something like that. And then how many the customer needs to buy to get this deal. So whether it's two for three or five for seven, if it's five for seven, you enter and they want to buy five from this item to get that deal. Then you just hit finish and the screen will disappear. So then you just go to price book, send to POS and send the changes over. So that's how you do promotions. Now let's talk about managing your price book, price groups. So you can come into price book price groups and you can basically manage your price groups from here. If you want to add a new price group, you can add it over here, give it the name. So be sure to add all your price groups before you decide to add in all the items to that group. Uh, so that makes it easier. And the way you do that is once you've added the price groups, uh, you go to price book, bulk update, and let's say you find again your marbles that are 519 and you want to apply to a group or 512 and you want to apply it to a group, you just find them and then you just say price group and I want to apply it to this group. And then you just do save and send later or save send to register now. So that group will basically get applied. So that, that's all there is for, you know, basic price book management, uh, item level, you know, price changes, bulk updates and promotions. If you have any questions uh, or need help, uh, please contact us at 281-265-2299. In the next video, we'll, just, we'll talk about how to enter in all your purchases and get your deliveries and receiving deliveries and all that stuff. So thank you guys. I look forward to you guys watching the next video.